my preschool or play school. <coughs> Back in the days it was called Swan and Swan. I don't know what it's called now. If it still is a daycare or preschool. There's a sign somewhere. Huh? Build and on thank you. Okay. Still a preschool, I don't know what it is. Many memories from in here. Oh, what a messy backyard. I think they're renovating. The subway man I heard and, and above it, the church. Where I was confirmated, or whatever it's called. Oh, huh. huh, none of these shops were here back then. There was a hot dog stand there before, but mm, that's Thai food. Oh man, this is my school. And on this yard down here, I think that was from grade one to three. Huh. Yeah, you know you can see through the windows. That's the gym class on the second floor. And uh, after that, grade four to six, we went to this wooden building. Oldest schoolhouse. This old school is. I thought it was big when I was a little kid. It's still big, man. Big and scary. Oh, yeah, and that's the fire escape. The outside stairs. A couple of times every year we had to practice that. Climb out through the window up there. And behind, well, that's grade seven to nine. Well, I have so many bad memories from here. Yeah, there used to be a big bush there. It's one of the places where I used to hide. And behind here, the cool guys who had motorcycles, they were parking them here, and that's also when they were secretly smoking. Building over here. Oh, that used to be the lunchroom, which I very rarely went to. Yeah, they have definitely made it bigger than I was here. I, no, I usually didn't go there. Lots of scary people there. Up here above, above the soccer field. This is also where I used to hide out. I used to hide out here behind the rocks and the trees. And back in those days there were no houses here. Looks peaceful and quiet here, right? This is on my way back home from school. And this, I'm pretty sure, was the house where the worst bully lived. So I could only walk this road home days when I quit school early. Before him. Now everything looks so peaceful and quiet. Back on my old street. This house is where Elizabeth was living. My sister's best friend, but I often hang out with them too. 
in the big white house to the right. That's where I lived. But it was much smaller back then. They have extended it quite a lot. Oh, they removed all the bushes. How oh, sad. I can hear the install air conditioning. Flagpole is still there. Wonder if I can get a better view from the forest. Behind the house is a park. And now I'm going in here. Because this is one of my other favorite places to hide from everything and everyone. Remember airport? <clears throat> One day I bought a spray can and I sprayed the motor's logo on this rock. Overgrown and gone by now. But I used to spend a lot of time up here. These rocks were some of my best friends. Oh, I'm starting to sound really crazy now, but it doesn't matter. Oh, our house. White house, you can see it. There are people living there now. I shouldn't go there closer. Just checking what they've done. This is the little shopping center. And there's still the same shops, a lot of them. Lundin's Conditory Bakery. It was there when I was a kid. Just like the flower shop. And just like Gestesh. The food shop. Next up, men. Far away in this direction. I don't think you can read on the sign where I'm going. This will be exciting for me. Sign this one was Ericsson, except the clock tower. Wow, when Ericsson built this place, they put a webcam up in this clock tower so we could follow the construction in real time. I don't remember when that was, beginning of 90s sometime. Man, this is totally surreal. Behind where Texas Longhorn houses now used to be a parking lot and here used to be the gates into Ericsson area. And now we can just walk in here. This is the conference center. The movie theater and everything. Oh dear, what are they doing here? I can actually go straight up to my old workplace. This is absolutely surreal. When I'm walking around here, I imagine walking here holding your hand. I mean, it feels like I've been in Australia for 30 years and I come back and visit. It's so strange to see all these places now. I haven't been here for so long. Huh. My reflection. Maybe you can see. So many new houses. This is completely surreal. Ten. Eight. Now I don't remember which house was mine. It's number eight. Definitely no Eric's on there. But the building straight ahead, that's not, well, it's not Ericsson obviously anymore, but it used to be the factory. And all 
also the HP center where they repaired all the computers. So weird. Armbost wagon. It's what it was used to be cool. And this is what's here now. Where LM Tell used to be. Absolutely nothing left. <clears throat> Except the LM Tell parking lot. Where they are building something right now. Another tall building I guess. Huh. Who would have thought, man? Who would have thought all this would happen here? Love you, man. Bye.